What's ironic about it is that when we're trying to avoid or trying to get rid of, when we're busy trying to get rid of unpleasant thoughts and emotions, trying to figure out a way to stop them coming, what's ironic about that is that uh, when we're busy doing that, we're sabotaging our natural potency, our natural beneficial potency. And when we allow these things to be as they are, sparks of self-doubt, unpleasant sensations, these kinds of things, when we allow them to be as they are, uh, we see that there is no suffering in them. And uh, over time we're less and less busy trying to control it, trying to control the unpredictable flow. And uh, our potency is more and more naturally the case, more and more naturally obvious. Because we're not busy trying to modify our experience all the time, our potency just emerges naturally in, in mind, speech, body qualities and activities. And so it takes... It takes um, yeah, it can be uh, scary to allow something unpleasant to be as it is when we haven't done it before. But since the other option has never worked, it's worth giving it a go, isn't it? At least for a few months. We've given, there's two options. <laughs> We've exhaustively persisted with one uh, that option is to try to control the flow of our experience. Um, so probably we've all tried to figure out a way to not doubt ourselves anymore. And has anyone managed to stop that occurring? Yeah. What about fear? Has anyone managed to not have fear anymore? Anyone manage to not have sadness anymore? Has, has, has everyone here tried to do that, all these things a lot? <laughs> yeah. So 0% success rate, that's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty depressing <coughs> outlook. So that's option A. It's good, it's good to have, to have uh, been scrupulous in, in, uh, in our... Um, uh, research. We've tried it extensively, <laughs> comprehensively, and uh, we've found in ourselves and in others that we observe that it has a zero percent success rate. So at the at the very least, just that is a good basis for experimenting with the other option, which is that whenever we notice that we're engaged in trying to control the flow of our experience, when we notice that we're doing that, uh, to completely relax and rely on open intelligence instead, instead for a short moment. Trust the basis of all experience, rely on the foundation of all experience, this open intelligence which is the basis of every perception we're experiencing right now, spontaneously and always present, never fluctuates, it's never scathed by any experience, any data stream. You can always rest deeply as that basis of all experience. It will always be there. It has always been there. So yeah, it's um, it's funny because I I I always kind of I feel like I always admired people who were at ease, you know, even before meeting this training, and with such people, I might think sometimes oh, I wonder I wonder how uh, how they are so relaxed. 
And then it became clear when I came to this teaching is they're relaxed because they're relaxed. <laughs> it's not a, it's not some kind of secret, uh, you know, mysterious thing. So whenever you notice that you're struggling, just relax again. And then the next time you notice you're struggling, just relax body and mind again. And it just becomes normal for you over time. Gradually in a way, but also compared to how long we've been alive, quite quick, really. Within a few months, you see profound changes. And over a period of a few years, uh, you know, it's difficult to really properly bring to mind what it was like for you before. It's difficult to get going in the same way, <laughs> to get ruffled in the same way. Uh, the, the sting can't quite, you can't quite reach the same sting anymore, even if you really try. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. So here we are, here we are receiving this ancient, profound teaching and uh, somehow we got here, <laughs> which is wonderful <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's really something to be very careful with. It's very, very precious and it's an opportunity that we, we want to be very careful with very uh, um, open and yeah see what happens in our own experience